Hello universe and everyone who inhabits it. I'm Jill Bray and today we're going to talk about something that really scares me. Like the very second that I heard about this, I was just like, whoa. So if you get scared easily, you better click off. Like do it now. Okay, I'm, I'm going to wait for you. Did you do it? No, you, you got to leave. I see you. You, you, you should leave. This is going to scare you. Oh wait. Okay, I think uh, everyone else who decided to stay, I want to tell you something. It's really going to scare you. I mean, you probably already heard it from Shane Dawson. If not, I'll link the video down below. Uh, I just find this to be so unsettling. Like, I don't know. Like, I told a couple people, and one person thought out it was, like, literally insane. The other person was like... They couldn't. They, they were just so insane. I don't know why I'm kind of whispering, but I just... Something is wrong with our universe. Like, li literally. Not like this universe. Like, the actual universe. Like, the galaxy that we live in. Let me ask you a question. Do you remember the book or the book series? Baron Sneed Bears. Okay? Just think about it for a second. How do you spell Berenstein? Give you a second. Okay. Did you answer? Alright. How did you spell it? Did you spell it with an E or an A? If you spelled it with an E, you're actually wrong. I know. Shocking. Like, it's still hard for me to, to like, digest right now. Apparently, it's spelled with an A. Alright, now answer me this. That TV show slash movie that Sarah Jessica Parker was, where she played Carrie Bradshaw, what was the name of that TV show? I'll give you a second to answer. If you guys want to comment your answers down below, I'll give you give you a second. If you answered sex in the city, you're wrong. It's sex and the city. Yeah. I know. Crazy, right? Now answer me this. When did Nelson Mandela die? Did he die back in like the 80s in prison? Or did he die in 2013? I don't know the answer to that. Some people think that he died in prison. Some die, think he died in 2013. Nobody really knows. Also, one final question. In the movie Snow White, what does the evil queen say to her mirror? think you got it you may not actually have it if you said mirror mirror on the wall who's the fairest of them all you're actually wrong it's magic mirror on the wall i know magic mirror who said that that was okay that's like insane the lighting just got weird i look like snooki anyway okay uh, one last question and this was like a real shocker to me. In the movie, this in Star Wars, or movie series, I don't know, remember which movie it is. I don't really watch Star Wars, but even me, the person who doesn't watch Star Wars and who really is not that big of a fan, I even know the famous line, or at least I thought I did. What is that famous famous line? It's not Luke. I am your father. I know, right? It's, no, I am your father. How did we get that wrong? There's t-shirts made of that. Okay, so you may be thinking, oh, I'm crazy. Some of you might be like, oh my god, I know totally what you're talking about. What is it named? Well, if you watch the Shane Dawson video, or if you watch other videos about this, or maybe if you know about it, you know what it's called. But for those of you who don't know what it's called, it's called the Mandela Effect. Basically, what that means is that we don't know how it happened, 
But the way that we think, you know, mirror, mirror on the wall, Luke, I'm your father, sex in the city, you know, all that stuff, that's correct to us. But something happened with our universe making, I don't know if somebody, we don't know if somebody went back in time and changed all of it, you know, Berenstein Bears with an E, but not with an A, you know, all that stuff. Somebody went back in time and changed it because they were like, you know, I don't like this. Or somehow we got, we slow, slowly and slow, or slowly are being sucked into a black hole and put in another universe. Some people believe that as well. Other people who believe, you know, it is sex and the city, you know, they're part of this universe and, you know, they don't think that anything's wrong. Another thing, apparently, the Mr. Rogers theme song is wrong. The way you may know it is wrong. Apparently, it's a lovely day in this neighborhood, not in the neighborhood. Now, some of you might think, well, what is the big deal about this? And at first, to be honest, I was like freaking out. I was like, how could anything be wrong? I thought everything was fine, you know, I didn't notice anything that weird. Um, let me tell you the story. Um, I go to, I used to go to this program, which is like a college program almost, back when I was in high school, and I would go for, I went for early childhood, you know, and we had all these books, you know, bookshelves and all that stuff, and our, my teacher, she said, could you please arrange the Berenstein Bears books? So I said, okay, you know, I'll arrange them. And then she gave me a whole bunch of them. And I, and I thought to myself, I was like, wait, like that's how you spell Berenstein Bears? You know, with the A, because it had A on the book, you know, instead of the E. And I was like, oh, well, I guess I maybe I just spelled it wrong. You know, not really thinking of it at that point. You know, I was like, I've known these books since I was a kid. You know, maybe just, you know, little baby Jilbery, you know, maybe she didn't know what she was talking about. Maybe she was like, all right, that's totally an E because that's how you say it. All right, so put that aside. Um, Another day, I was, you know, in the car with some people, some of my family members, and we were watching a movie. We were watching Snow White. And then came the scene of, you know, the wicked, the, the evil queen, witch, whatever. She goes to her mirror And she says, magic mirror on the wall. Now I thought to myself, that's strange. Doesn't she say mirror, mirror on the wall? I was like, it's so weird. Again, at this point, I still didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't notice anything because I didn't know about this. You know, I didn't, I I used to watch Shane Dawson videos, but then I just recently got back into watching them. But again, I didn't think much of it. And then, after watching his video, I realized that something is wrong. You know, nothing that we know is right. And some people, they'll remember certain moments in their life. And then they'll go to that, go to a pers- that person that was involved in the moment. Or maybe another two, there maybe there were a couple people involved. And then, you know, they'll talk to them about that. Be like, hey, do you remember this? And blah, blah, blah. I remember reading a post about this woman. And, or I believe it was a woman, she, as a child, she remembers her playing a video game, you know, that just scared her, scared the bejesus out of her, like, just completely scared her. And she remembers talking, or this person remembers talking to, you know, their mom about it. Be like, hey, do you remember when I was a kid and I played the video game, you know, that really scared me, you know, you didn't want me to play it, but I played it anyway. And, you know, their mom was like, what are you talking about? I never let you play that game. I was like, that game is too scary for you. You're too young and I'm not letting you play it. Now, this person distinctly remembers playing this game. As scary as it was, they still played it. And she even remembers, you know, her mom sitting with her, playing the game with her or watching her play the game. And her mother swears on her life that she never played the game, that she never let her daughter play the game. Now that's freaky. Now how about this? 
I'll link this video down below too. Um, I watched another video about this because after I found out about this, I was just like, I need to do research. I was like, this, this is insane. As much as I think that this is real, you know, I need to, I need to look this up. So I looked up more videos. Um, I'll link a whole bunch down below, but there's one woman, um, she, I guess I'll do this one. There's two stories I'm going to talk about. There was one woman and she remembered as a child, she loved reading the Berenstein Bears. She just loved them. She read them all the time. And then she had one book that she saved from her childhood that she wanted to read to her children. And she read this book all the time to her kids. You know, she practically knew the, the, the book, you know, cover to cover, front to back. And after learning about the Mandela effect, she looks at the book again. She knows how to spell the Berenstein Bears. Spelled with an E, not with an A. She goes back and looks at the book after discovering about this Mandela effect, and it's spelled with an A. Now she knows for a fact that it's spelled with an E because as a child, when she used to read the book, it was spelled with an E. Now why, why do you think that that would be different? I just, this to me is just so mind-blowing like to me I just how just how you know it's just so crazy and then one thing that really shook me to my core there was this tv show I forget what tv show it was but um the tv show is not exactly important but you know, they had a live audience, it was back in maybe 50s, 60s, 70s, probably somewhere around then. This guy, he was, you know, the you know, talk show host, he was a man, and he was interviewing some other guy, and, you know, during the interview, the interviewee had a heart attack. And, of course, everybody in the audience saw it, and everybody at the TV station was like, we cannot air this episode, because the heart attack was just horrific, just awful I mean any heart attack is horrific but I guess this one was just so blown out of proportion anyway I guess years later or whatever people he, he noticed the people coming up to him you know on the street being like hey I know you you're from that tv show blah, 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 whatever it's like I can't believe that episode with that guy he had a heart attack and he died like that was so crazy and you know the talk show host he was like oh so you were in the audience and then the person would be like no I remember sitting on my couch watching it. Now, they swore not to put the episode on TV, yet people have actually seen it. And they haven't, then they weren't in the audience. Now, how, how messed up is that? I think that's pretty fucked, if you ask me. That people remember a man having a heart attack and dying during a TV show that wasn't live. And they decided not to put the TV show on air because of it being so horrific and violent. And then people remembering it, remember sitting on their couch, remember sitting with their family, watching the episode, experiencing this man's heart attack when they never even put it on the air. They never put it on a TV screen. I am just so flabbergasted. I can't, I can't even speak. I just, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, we've been living with this for so long, you know, living with, with stuff like this happening. Like I remember once, one time when I was a kid, I was on vacation with all my family. You know, we go on this vacation almost we've been on this vacation so many years I think we've been going to this for this like 18 18 years you know as long as I've been alive basically and I remember we have this huge pizza party and we would um, my parents we would rent out or I guess we would you know go to this hotel and we go we would you know um I guess rent the suite or whatever and you know we would you know stay there for you know our vacation and then one of the nights when all the family gets together we decide to have a pizza party Okay, so, um, you know, the adults and the older cousins, you know, they're in the living room and my, some of the, me and a few of my other cousins were in the other room and we're just playing this game. 
and one of my older cousins, he, we, we were pretending that he was, you know, he was a really bad person, and, you know, he, he was like, we, we were like, we're gonna send you to, you know, jail, and he's like, well, I blew up all the jails, and all that stuff, something stupid, you know, we're little kids, we're playing, we're just, it's stupid, and they're like, well, we're gonna send you to a mental hospital, he's like, well, I already blew up all the hospitals, you know, it's really stupid, it's really crazy, I remember maybe a few years later after that, I remember talking to my cousins about this, and they were like, are you crazy, we never played that, and I distinctly, I, I, I still can remember it, I remember tugging on his shirt, tugging on my cousin's shirt, being like, we're gonna lock you up, you know, of course, this being a game, like, nothing, nothing, he didn't blow up any hospitals, you know, he didn't blow up any jails, you know, total game, like, but to distinctly remember, you know, tugging on a shirt, being like, oh, we're gonna lock you up, and then having my cousin say, oh, you're crazy, we, ne we never played that game, why would we play that, that's, that's ridiculous, what? It's like, I was there with you. It's like, I can distinctly remember. I remember what room it was. I remember exactly the spot where it was. And yet you tell me, we never did this. That's pretty freaky. What about this? The cousins I was playing with. I mean, because it was one of my older cousins. Um, who was a, a guy, and then my two younger cousins, well, one, one's like a year younger than me, the other one's like two years younger than me, and then one's like a few years younger than me. We were all playing that. But the two cousins that are like around my age, they, we were talking one day, and I don't, I don't remember how this topic came up, but they were like, something about, something about a food fight, I guess I had at my school that I, I started, or I was fighting with this other girl from my school, you know, back when, in high school, or I think it was middle school, or even elementary school, I really don't remember, but anyway, they swore to me that they were like, yeah, you totally had a food fight with this girl in the middle of, 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 of school, and, you know, you're throwing food everywhere, there was spaghetti, and, you know, I don't even remember what they were saying, and I was like, why would I have a food fight in the middle of school? Like, if I had a food fight, I would remember it, I would tell you guys about it, you know, I'd be like, yeah, I remember back in middle school or in elementary school, I, I threw pudding in that this girl's face, you know, it was hilarious, you know. I took that girl's, t that guy's tuna sandwich and I smoshed, I, I squished it in some other chick's face. Like, I would think that's pretty hilarious, you know. Or, you know, I took that guy's apple juice and, you know, he, you know squished it in some somebody's face. I don't know. But, like... For them to be like, I distinctly remember you telling me this. I swear to you that you told me this happened. And I swear to you that you told me that it happened because you were fighting with this this girl. And then for me to be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, to me, that's insane. Like, I know people will be like, oh, well, it was just a dream, you know. Maybe you, you were playing a different game during vacation and then you dreamed that you were playing that you know, playing the game where your cousin, you know, he blew up the hospitals or whatever, or your cousins dreamed up you playing, you know, having that food fight, or that, you know, that person from the TV show, oh, they just Googled it, you know, they, they Facebooked, they, they, they YouTubed it. Well, to be honest, first of all, I don't think YouTube existed when this person, when this person was talking about it, so there's, there's your answer, okay? Um... I know dreams can feel so real, but I know for a fact that we were playing that game. And my cousins, they remember me saying that I had a food fight. And to be honest, as a kid, I probably would have had a food fight, but I would have remembered that. I thought something, something stupid I would uh, you know, that I wouldn't remember. You know, you wouldn't remember a food fight. You know, you wouldn't remember what color shirt you're wearing the, the, thir the first day of third grade. You know, unless you have some sort of brain like that. I don't have a brain like that. You know, I'm kind of the rambler, as you can tell. I'm just so flabbergasted and so overwhelmed by this, which I think is just so insane. You know, it, to think that people can remember things that are so, they're pretty monumental. You're not even on the scale of just my family, my cousins, you know, us playing something or, 
you know, the people watching that thing on the TV, well, I guess that's more monumental, you know, more like, rather than keeping it familial, or, you know, just like your friends and stuff, remembering something that, like, you maybe you don't remember, or you remembering something that they don't remember, you know, being like, well, Nelson Mandela, he died in prison, or no, he died in 2013, you know, like, for people to swear that this happened on this date, or that happened on this date, or that, that happened on that date, you know, and then for people just to, like, they just, I don't know how else to describe it, they just, they know, they, they know for a fact that, no, that's what, this is when it happened, that's when it happened, you know, it didn't happen on this date, it happened on that date, and then other people would be like, no, it happened on this day, or that day, for me, that means something's wrong, you know, something's off, and is there a way to fix it? Reprint all the books? You know, reprint, you know, Sex in the City? You know, what are we, what are we going to do? Part of me, when I first thought of this, I was like, well, why not ask, you know, the people who wrote the Berenstein Bears? Why not ask... Sarah Jessica Parker, you know, what's the name of your movie, you know, what's the, how do you spell Berenstain Bears, but then I thought, those people that wrote that book, I think it was Stan and Jan Berenstain, what if they're part of the other universe, the other universe where Berenstain Bears is spelled with an A, what if Sarah Jessica, Parker, Sarah Jessica Parker is part of the other universe where sex in the city is sex and the city. I know. That fucked with my mind a little bit too. I mean, to my knowledge, we've been living like this for quite a while. Like, I've, you know, it's back middle, elementary school, middle school, that's been quite a few years. You know, maybe it's just been ever so gradually and ever so slowly. And, you know, maybe those dates like 12, 21, 12, you know, 2012, all that stuff, you know, or those random dates like, oh, we're going to die, blah, blah, blah. Maybe those are like monumental days where maybe we don't know that we're going farther and farther into the black hole. Or maybe that's another date where that person went back in time and was like, let's change this thing, you know? And as little as these things are, I mean, you can look them up, you can, there's, you know, there's a website dedicated to this, which I will link down below, that, you know, I'll just link a whole bunch of stuff, um, that is actually dedicated to, you know, to these Mandela effects, that, you know, people are like, Columbine didn't happen in 99, it happened in 96, and people swear that it happened in 96, or people think that, you know, Hurricane Katrina, that it didn't happen in August of 2005. It happened in April of 2005. You know, a lot of date switches. You know, some people swear that Betty, Betty White's dead. Like, she's totally dead. They don't know. Like, it's so weird. Or people think that, you know, Fonzie, um, I don't know his, his name. I just know him as Fonzie, um, that he's dead. Um, people think that Gene Wilder, you know, um, Mr. Willy Wonka himself is dead. Um, I know for a fact that he is not dead. Um, you know, my, one of my mom's relatives actually lives really close to him and she knows that he is not dead. You know, my mom tried to get him for my prom, but that's another story. Um, but I know that he's alive, but some people just swear that he's dead. Maybe because he's in hiding. Not that he's really in hiding. He just doesn't really get out very much. You know, he's, he's, you know, he's an elderly man. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't do much. Maybe that's why people think he's dead. Or, you know, some people, I guess maybe they distinctly remember, like, seeing in the news, Gene Wilder dead, you know. Um, another thing, another, another Mandela effect. Um, I remember reading an, uh, reading another story, another post somewhere where somebody remember as a, remembers as a child, you know, they used to watch Goosebumps, you know, Tales of the Crypt and whatever that other TV show is, and they distinctly remember this one episode of this girl 
who has their father pass away. And of course, you know, the girl is very upset. And, you know, she's, you know, she's mourning the loss of her father. I mean, what, what little girl wouldn't who, you know, daddy's little girl who wouldn't, you know, mourn the loss of their father. So, you know, stuff happens, whatever. And then all of a sudden she finds out that her father is alive. He just like rose from the dead, like Jesus or something. I don't know. And so she's like so happy and she's like, oh, my dad's alive. That's so great. She's like, you know what? I'm going to make him my, his favorite dinner. So she makes him his favorite dinner, which is apparently spaghetti and meatballs. So they're having dinner together and his, and her father is like, this is, he just, it tastes really funny to him. She's, he's like, this is disgusting. He's like, what is this? What did you put in this? It tastes like dirt. And she's like, I put, you know, basil and, you know, you know, pepper, you know, all those spices that you put into a sauce. And he's like, this is disgusting. It tastes like dirt. And then for some reason, I guess the dad dies again. I don't know. So weird. But the person distinctly remembers this episode. He was, they were like, I think it's a Goosebumps episode. So they look it up, you know, what is the episode where this happens? Or... Oh, but then they were like, they didn't find anything. So they were like, oh, maybe it's the Tales of the Crypt. And, you know, they looked that up and they come up empty. And then, then they look up whatever the other TV show, if you know what it is, you know, come down, comment down below what the other TV show was. I'll try and find all these links so that you know that I'm not just crazy because I know I'm crazy, you know, just haha, <laughs> crazy. But, you know, there, there's actual hard evidence. I'm not the only one who thinks this. You know, there's other people that agree with me. There's other people that posted about this. I mean, Shane Dawson himself made a video about this. So, clearly, something is up. Um, I just, what are we going to do? I don't, I don't understand. Like, the fact that, like, something's wrong with the universe. Like, that to me is, like, fucking crazy. And apparently there's, I don't know if you watch Fluffy, Fluffy Talks, um, He says that I think September 28th of this year, apparently the moon is supposed to turn red, be like a blood moon or something, and that the world's going to end. Okay, so what is this, what does this have to do with what I'm talking about? Remember how I was saying before, like 2020, maybe that's like one of those dates where like the person went back in time or maybe another date we would get slowly put back into the black, black hole or any other, you know you know, something happens, you know, and we get pushed farther away from where we think that we are or where we're supposed to be, you know, in the galaxy, in the, our Milky, Milky Way galaxy. What if September 28th is another one of those days? I mean, there's rumors of, you know, an asteroid hitting the Earth. Um, NASA has, you know, confirmed that this is wrong. Um, debunked it, if you will. You know, no asteroid is set to hit for Earth, but they are taking precautions. You know, they are building more special rockets or whatever they do, bombs, cannons, whatever the fuck, I don't know, um, to try and prevent, you know, another, well, not another, but uh, if there was to be an, an attack, you know, that's, you know, you know, if there were to be another attack, that they would be able to have preventative measures against it. Um, another theory that might some people might have, um, aliens. I know. Now you think I'm fucking crazy. This video is almost half an hour long. Um, if you stick stuck around to this song, congrats. Um, yeah, I'm not going to edit this video. Anyway, aliens. I don't know. So if you don't believe in aliens, you want to click off now. By all means, if you do believe in aliens, great. And you want and you want to stay, great. If you don't believe in aliens, or you're like whatever, and you want to stay, awesome. Anyway, but what if it was aliens? They, you know, they changed it, or maybe they're the ones going back in time and changing it, or maybe they're the ones that are bringing us into this black hole. You know, because we don't know what's on the other side of black holes. You know, we could be just being sucked farther and farther into this other universe that we don't know about. That maybe that's what that's maybe that's what on the other maybe that is what's on the other side of, of you know the universe. 
you know, on the, on the other side of the black hole is another universe. You know, like, we, we don't know. Um, so, I'm just trying to inform you guys, and if you do know me, and, like, personally, you're watching this video and you think I'm insane, I mean, you can't beat evidence. You can't beat other people who have first-hand encounters with stuff like this. You can't beat that. And I guess that's it. I really don't want to creep anybody else out, and I really don't want to creep myself out anymore. Um, I'll try and do more research, and as I said, I'll, you know, post everything in, you know, the description box down below, down below you know, about all these links. I'll try and find as many videos as, that I did watch and as many posts that I did put or as many posts that I found on the internet, you know, through Google and stuff. And it wasn't even like I went on the deep, deep internet to find any of this stuff. This was like first, second, you know, third stuff that popped up. It wasn't, an, I was on like the, you know, the 60th web page, you know, of Google. You know, it wasn't in the deep Google, which, you know, I haven't really been there, but I'm pretty sure it's pretty fucked up. So, yeah. I'm just gonna stop here and if you did watch this entire video congrats to you i'm not gonna give you a prize you want a cookie here's your damn cookie you see it that's that's the cookie um so yeah so i hope you have a really nice day and i really hope i didn't scare you too much um if you want to follow me on twitter know when i'm posting another video or when i'm saying creepy shit about men the mandela effect you can follow me on twitter at jillbury at underscore at I don't know my own Twitter handle. Just give me a moment to compose myself because I'm just that freaked out. At Jill underscore Brie underscore music. Um, that is my Twitter handle. Um, if you're wondering why that is, um, it's not like Jill Brie 16 or something like that. Apparently that's not available. I mean, I've had this Twitter handle for like ever. People who probably follow me think that that's, you know, my... I'm into music, but that's not. If you want to send me fan mail, you can send me to fanmail at jillbreefanmail at gmail.com. And thank you so much. Bye.